so much for being here. Um, I hope you will enjoy the performance. We have a little announcement. The Sunday class, Papageno, Pai Boy, unfortunately, is ill. So um, the uh, Papageno that sang on Friday, Garin Mesa, is going to replace him. Um, thank you so much. Enjoy the performance and give our students a big round of applause. Thank you.
that I'm still alive? Did some mightier power rescue me? And what? The cruel serpent lies dead at my feet? What's that I hear? Where am I? What strange place is this? Oh, a man of some sort is approaching the valley. Just like you. Now, if I asked you who you were, I should answer you that I come from royal blood. Well, that's way above me. Put things more simply if you want me to understand. My father is a sovereign who rules over many lands and people. So I am called 
prince. <laughs> Land? People? Prince? And so I'm asking Hold you. Hold it. Let me ask the questions here, huh? First of all, tell me. Are there other lands and other people beyond these mountains? Many thousands. Huh. Maybe I could do some good business with my birds there. Now you tell me, in what part of the country are we? In what part of the country? Why, between the valleys and the mountains. Precisely, but what is this land called? Who rules over it? Can't tell you that any more than I can tell you how I came into this world. <laughs> what? You don't know where you were born or who your parents are? Absolutely not. I know neither more nor less than I was brought up and looked after by an old man. Old, but very jolly. He was probably your father? Can't say. But didn't you know your mother? I did not know her. But sometimes I had it heard it said that she was once in service of the star blazing queen of the night in that rundown building over there. If she's still alive or what became of her, I don't really know. All I know is that my straw hut, which sheltered me from the rain and the cold, isn't far from here. How do you live? By eating and drinking, just like everyone else. And how do you get your food and drink? Ah, by trading. I catch all sorts of birds for the star blazing queen and her lady. In exchange, I get my daily food and drink from them. Hmm. A star blazing queen. That must be the mighty monarch of the night. But tell me, good friend, have you ever been fortunate enough to see this star blazing queen? And that last dumb question of yours proves that you are a foreigner. Don't take offense, dear friend. I was just seen wondering. Seen her. Seen the star blazing queen. Come to me again with such a dumb question, and as sure as my name is Papageno, I'll pop you into my birdcage as a cuckoo and dispose of you along with my other birds to the queen and her ladies. And it's all the same to me whether they boil you or roast you. Remarkable fellow. <laughs> seen her. Seen the star blazing queen. What mortal being can boast that he has seen her? What human eye could pierce that veil of hers, woven with inky blackness? Now it is clear. She is indeed that nocturnal queen whom my father so often told me about. But to fathom how I strayed into this space is beyond my powers. Presumably this man is no ordinary human being. Perhaps he is one of the spirits who serve her. Oh, he stares at me. I'm beginning to be scared of you. Why are you looking at me in that suspicious, villainous way? B because, because I'm wondering if you are a man? What did you just say to me? To judge by the feathers that cover you, I take Not you for, for a bird. <sighs> Stand back and beware. For I have the strength of a giant when I get hold of anyone. The ah. strength of a giant? So it was <laughs> you who saved me and vanquished this venomous serpent. Oh, serpent? What's that then? Is it dead or alive? By that modest question of yours, you seek to evade my gratitude. Yet I must tell you that I shall be eternally grateful for so valorous a deed. Oh, let's say no more about it and just be happy that it ended all so well. But, my friend, how on earth did you vanquish the serpent? You have no weapons. Oh, no need for them. In my case, a mighty squeeze with the hands means more than weapons. So you strangled it? <laughs> strangled it. <laughs> That's for me. Look around, friend. Who are those ladies? Who are they? Well, I don't know exactly. All I know is that they come to collect my birds and bring me wine, sugar bread, and sweet figs in exchange. Presumably, they are very beautiful. Oh. Well, I shouldn't think so. For if they were beautiful, they wouldn't cover their faces. Papa Gano! Oh, you asked if they were beautiful, and all I can say is that never in my life have I seen anything more ravishing. <laughs> that should put them in good humor again. Papa Gano! Oh, what have I done wrong today to make you so angry with me, huh? Come, my loves, my birds. And in exchange for them, Her Majesty sends you today, instead of wine, for the first time, pure. Clear water. Uh. And she ordered me to give you, instead of sugar bread, this stone. Woo! I do hope it agrees with you. What? I'm to be 
feet on stones? And instead of sweet things, I have the honor of fastening this golden padlock to your mouth. <laughs> Presumably, you wish to know why Her Majesty has chosen to punish you in this remarkable fashion. Mm -hmm. So that in the future, you won't tell lies to strangers and not boast about heroic deeds that others have accomplished. Oh, uh, <laughs> did you vanquish this serpent? Mm -hmm. Well, who did then? Mm -hmm. Young men, it was we who saved you. Be not afraid. Joy and delights await you. Here, our great queen sends you this portrait. It is a likeness of her daughter. If, so she said, these features prove not indifferent to you, then happiness, honor, and fame await you. Farewell till we meet again. Adieu, Monsieur Papageno. Don't drink your water too fast. <laughs> <laughs>
mansion, handsome youth. Her majesty. Charge me to tell you that your future happiness is now unbarred. She has heard every word you spoke. She has read every expression in your features. Still more, her maternal heart has, has resolved to make you happy. If this young man's courage and valor, she says, matches his tenderness, then my daughter is most certainly rescued. Rescued? What do I he hear? Then the maiden here pictured? Has been abducted by a powerful evil fiend. Abducted? Oh, ye gods! Say, how could this happen? One lovely day in May, she was sitting quite alone in the delightful cypress grove, which had always been her favorite retreat. The evil spirit crept up behind her, unobserved. Spied her, and... Besides having an evil heart, he also has the ability of taking on any imaginable shapes. And in that way, he approached Pamina. That is the name of the princess whom you so admire. Oh, Pamina, torn away from me, the power of a lustful fiend. Perhaps at this very moment you are a dreadful thought. No, no more, more you. Do not impugn the virtue of that pure-hearted beauty. Despite all of her suffering, she remains true to herself, and her innocence prevails. Neither force nor flattery has the power to lead her astray down paths of vice. Well, tell me, maidens, tell me where this tyrant dwells. He lives very near our mountains, in a pleasant, smiling valley. His castle is magnificent and vigilantly guarded. Come, maidens, set me on my way. Pamina shall be rescued. The fiend will fall by my hand. I swear it by my love. Hey, gods, what's that? Take, Take heart. heart. It announces the arrival of our queen. She comes. She comes. She comes.
already true what I saw? Or do my senses mislead me? Oh, ye gracious gods, do not deceive me now, or I shall fail your test. Strengthen my arm, steal my courage, and Tamino's heart will beat in eternal gratitude to you. <laughs> Lady, 
strange birds in the world. Why can't there be strange people? Oh, she's still here. <clears throat> oh, it's heart of the queen of the night. The queen of the night? Who are you? Oh, an ambassador from the star blazing queen. From my mother? Oh, joy. What's your name? Papageno. 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 I think I've heard that name before, although I've never seen you. Oh. Well, I've never seen you before either. But you know my dear, tender mother? If you're the daughter of the queen of the night, then yes. I am her oh. daughter. Oh, I can be the judge of that. Sit. <coughs> Eyes dark? Dark 
archives. Hair, brow. Oh. Oh. Brown hair. Lips, red. Oh. Oh. <coughs> red lips. She's got red lips. All's in order except the hands and the feet. According to this portrait, you shouldn't have any hands or feet. There aren't any shown here. Allow me. Uh, well, yes, that is me. But how did it get into your hands? Oh, to tell you that would take far too long. See, it was passed from hand to hand to hand. But how did it get into your hands? Oh, in a most mysterious manner. I captured it. Captured it? Precisely. Let me give you the details. <clears throat> Early this morning, as usual, I was on my way to your mother's palace with my delivery. Delivery? Yes. For years now, I've been supplying all the birds to your mother and the, her ladies at the palace. Uh, just as I was on the point of delivering my birds, I came across someone who called himself Prince. This prince struck your mother's fancy to such an extent that she gave him this portrait and asked him to rescue you. He made up his mind just as quickly as he'd fallen in love with you. Love? So he loves me? But, friend, if this mysterious young man, or prince as he calls himself, truly loves me, why has he delayed so long to free me? And, friend, you have dared much. If Sarastro were to set eyes on you here. Oh, I wouldn't have to worry about the return journey, I can imagine that. You'd be put to death with endless tortures. Yes, and to avoid that, let's think right away. What if this were a trick? What if you were one of Sarastro's evil spirits? Oh, me, an evil spirit? What are you talking about? I'm the best spirit in the world. Forgive me, friend, if I have offended you. You have a tender heart. I see that in everything about you. Oh, sure I've got a tender heart. And what good does it do me? Often I like to pluck out all my feathers when I think that Papageno still has no Papagena. You poor man. You have no wife? I haven't even got a girlfriend, let alone a wife. Patience, friend. Heaven will care for you, too, and send you a girlfriend before you even know it.
least and they confided. Why then my heart will now be guided. Where am I now? What lies inside? Is this a place where gods abide? The portals proclaim it. The columns declare it. Your wisdom and labor and arts of the dwelling where man has created a virtuous crown. No falseness, no baseness, or evil is found. So braving all danger, an entrance I'll try. us here, but not in wisdom's holy shrine. He rules in wisdom's holy shrine. Then all I see is but a lie. Will you be gone so soon? Yes, I will go proud and free. This abode of lies. You speak in ignorance. I see you've been misled. So last your rules, you're here. With that, enough is said. No, as your life is dear, remain here. Tell me more. You hate the Rastro so. I'll hate him ever, yes. What cause have you for hating him? He is a tyrant, not a man. My son, can what you say be proven? The proof is an unhappy woman, pressed by grief and endless war. So someone told you it was so? Well, clearly, they know nothing of our band. Yet, like a boy, you thought it true. Oh, wait until Zarastro comes to tell you why he acted thus. His purpose is only too clear. Did not that robber seize Pamina and steal up our grieving mother? Young stranger, what you say is true. Where is she? She whom he stole. Perhaps already I'm too late. I may not tell you, noble youth, but yet in time you'll learn the truth. 
explain this riddle. Tell me more. A sacred duty binds my tongue. When will this veil of doubt be lifted? When you I led my friendship's hand to a join the temple's holy hand. Oh, and less night is then awaking when will the Almighty ones to sing your praises. My song would rise to heaven above to tell you how my heart beats with love. Papagino's pipe. Perhaps Pomina has been found. Perhaps Pomina's at his side. Perhaps, perhaps the 
this Lord will be my guide, and this Lord will be my guide, my guide, this magic Lord, my guide. What could you talk or to bread if we're caught in this or dead? Oh, 
come these two strangers here within our temple they'll be tried so place are they 